Hey there Dev Squad, Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 Mech Combat tutorial series. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at how we can set up the core functionality for our Spider AI. So if you take a look at the screen you can see exactly what we're going to be creating. We're going to be creating a spider robot which is essentially going to chase the enemy and blow up when they touch it. Now this video is going to focus on importing the skeletal mesh and setting up the animation so that it will um, idle when it needs to and so that it will run when it needs to as well. And what we're going to be doing in the next video is we're going to be talking about the behaviors and getting it to actually chase the player and explode when it needs to. So without further ado guys, let's go ahead and dive into Unreal Engine. So the first thing that I need you to do is go to Mech Combat, go to Meshes, and then within here I want you to create a folder with the name AI underscore spider underscore bomb. Now with our AI for this spider, we're gonna have two versions. We're gonna have one with a turret and we're also gonna have one which has a explosives rack on the back as well. And this is the one we're gonna be doing today, the version with the bomb on it. So if you go to your project files under mech assets and go to meshes, what you should have inside of here is a folder called spider underscore core. Open this up and what I want you to do is select everything in this folder that you've got here, drag and drop and then just import it in. Now with the first file that you've got here, anything that's an animation, make sure import mesh is not included on there and instead you just choose one of these. And the reason why I'm saying this is because you need to make sure you don't have multiple skeletal meshes. Now at the moment we haven't got anything to select. So instead of selecting all of them, just select the spider underscore core, click, drag and drop. And then as for the material, don't import a material or texture and just press import. Once you've done that, you can see we've now got our spider, we've got the animation, and we've also got the physics asset for that. And if we open up this spider, you are going to notice it already has a material on there. And that material that we've got on there is actually coming from our robo character. We've set this up in a way that the material is also going to work on here. You can see the material slot in the top left hand corner. If it's not set to robo by default, just click the little selection here and type in robo. So that bit's all working. What we now need to do is get the animations imported. So open up that folder again and select your idle and your walk animation. Click, drag and, and drop to import these. Make sure import mesh is not selected. And then for the skeleton, you want to make sure you're using spider underscore core underscore skeleton. Once you've done that, go ahead and press import all. And you've now got these animations. If you open up the idle animation, you can see our spider, uh, our spider is doing this idle animation where it looks like it's breathing, it's just got its legs moving a little bit. If we move over to our walk, you can see that spider is moving its legs backwards and forwards to, to go forwards essentially, and that's all that we need. So now that's done, what we need to do with this is create an animation blend space. And this animation blend space is going to allow us to tell the engine how fast we want that to be walking depending on the speed it's doing. So what you want to do is right click and go to animation and then create an animation blend space. With this, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using the skeleton for the spider core and we're going to give it the name walk underscore BS. Open this up and what we're going to be doing is grabbing our idle animation from the bottom right hand corner in our asset browser, dragging it down to the bottom middle position here and then our walk is going to go all the way up to our top middle position there. Now at the moment this is going to mean absolutely nothing. We need to plot our time, sorry we need to plot our speed and our distance on here so we know where all of this is going. If you want to learn a little bit more about animation blend spaces, I definitely advise you check out my animation series for Unreal Engine, which is available on my channel. Just go to playlists and you will find it. Anyway, under asset details, top left hand corner, top one is going to be our direction. 
And then the second one, so the vertical, is going to be our speed. And what you can see now is when the speed is zero, it's going to be doing its idle animation. When the speed is at the top, it's going to be doing its walk animation. So that is exactly the way that we want to set it up. What I will say is for direction, set your minimum to minus 180 and then your maximum to 180. For your speed, you want it to go from 0 to 600. 600 being the maximum walk speed for this character. Once you've done that, go ahead and press save and we can start creating our animation blueprint for this. So before we can create an animation blueprint, we need to have a blueprint class that this is going to be attached to. So what you want to do is I want you to go to your third person BP folder, go to blueprints and find your test dummy blueprint that you've been working on. This has all of your functionality to get your AI to take damage and do all of that good stuff. So right click this and create a child blueprint class. We're going to be giving this the name spider underscore bomb. And then if we go ahead and open this, what you will now have inside of here is a character movement component. So it's going to have its own speed and its own direction that we can work with. So with that being said, this is all set up, close this blueprint. And what you want to do is go back to your meshes, go to AI underscore spider underscore bomb. And inside of here, right click and create yourself a animation blueprint. And we're going to use the spider core skeleton. Press OK. And we're going to give this the name spider underscore core underscore anim BP. And then open this up and we can get started with it. So first thing that we need to do within here is for our final animation pose, we need to create a state machine so we can break down the different states for this spider. So idle and walking. So what we're going to do is create a state machine. So right click and type in state machine and add this new state machine. Double click on this to open it up. And what we're going to be doing is dragging out from the entry and simply adding in a state with the name idle. From our idle, we're going to drag out another state, add it in, and we're going to give this the name walk. And from our walk, we're going to be able to go back to idle. So for our idle state, all we're going to do is just double click this to open it up, grab our idle animation and hook this up to our final animation pose. For the walk state, we're going to double click, open it up, and we're going to use the walk underscore blend space. Now with this, it needs direction and speed information. To get this, we need to go over to our event graph up here at the top left. So from event blueprint update animation, we are going to cast to the spider underscore core, or sorry, spider underscore bomb, as this is going to contain the information for the direction and the speed of this AI. So as spider core, or as spider bomb rather, we are going to get the velocity, and we are also going to get uh, or we're going to get the direction essentially and there's a couple of ways that we can do this and the way that I'm going to do this is as spider bomb get rotation so get actor rotation so type it in get actor rotation and we're going to uh, we are going to calculate this into a direction so drag out from your execution pin we are going to calculate direction target is itself Hook up your velocity into here and your base rotation. And then from the return value, we are going to promote this to a variable and give it the name direction. And then for our speed with this velocity, we are going to do vector length or get. So vector length. And then we are just going to use the normal version. And then we are going to promote this to a variable and give it the name speed. So now, if we just hook it up and get your code to look like this, you're now going to have direction and speed. Now bear in mind our blend space doesn't use direction, but you can add that kind of stuff in there if you want to later on. 
So now if we go back to our walk state and hook up our direction into the direction and speed into speed, it's going to do what we need it to do. Hit compile and you are good to go. What you should have is a couple of errors and these errors are essentially just telling you that you need to set up your transitional rules. So when it should go from idle to walk. So starting off with from idle to walk, open that up. And what we're going to do with this is if float is greater than and then B is going to be 10 and A is going to be your speed. And then with our walk to idle, open this up, get our speed and then we're going to do float less than float. Cool. So speed goes into the top one and then if it's less than 10, we want it to go into this state. You should have one more error and that is simply going to be in our event graph and that is just going to be our cast to spider bomb. Now the way we've set this up is this is a player character so you can use that. Hit compile and you should then be good to go. So what you should do now if we open up our blueprint for for our spider underscore bomb, open the full blueprint editor, go to our viewport and you can see we've got our robo dude. First things first, skeletal mesh you want to set this to spider underscore core and we've now got our spider. For the animation class, you want to set this to spider underscore core underscore NMBP and you're going to see it's going to start idling straight away. Hit compile, chuck one of these into the scene and just press play and what you should see now is it should start idling and it won't have any movement but what we should still be able to do is hit it after a couple of hits it should disappear and we should get this fragment that we can pick up. So that is pretty much everything for our spider bomb core functionality. We still need to put the explosive rack on the back but that's going to be something we'll be doing in a later video. But for now guys that's everything for this video. I hope you look forward to what's to come. Once again, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating, your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.